Let's make Instant Pot yogurt. To start off, we're going to use our whole milk and gelatin. We're going to press the saute button on our Instant Pot. We're gonna pour in about two cups of milk to the bottom, and then we're gonna add our gelatin. We're going to gently whisk the gelatin into the milk, and as the milk warms up in the Instant Pot, the gelatin will start to dissolve into the milk. Once the gelatin is dissolved, you can add the rest of the milk into the Instant Pot. Gently give it a whisk once more, and then add the lid back onto your Instant Pot and let the boil session take over. This will take about 45 minutes. When the boil session's over, the Instant Pot will beep and it will read Y-O-G-T. Remove the lid and we're going to check the temperature of the milk. Our goal is to get the milk up to 180 degrees and it's likely that your milk did not make it that high in the boil process. So to reach that temperature, we're going to hit the saute button again and we're going to let the milk warm up through the saute option. Go ahead and whisk the milk around until that thermometer reads 180 degrees. Remove the pot, allow the milk to come down to about 105 degrees. There are two options for this. You can leave the pot just resting on your counter for about two to three hours, or you can do an ice bath in your sink. This will only take about 15 minutes to bring the temperature down. Now we're going to inoculate the milk with our store-bought yogurt. Scoop out a quarter cup of yogurt and add it to the milk. Go ahead and whisk the yogurt into the milk. With the yogurt that's left in the container, scoop out a quarter cup and place that in your freezer for your next batch of yogurt. Add your lid back on, click the yogurt button until it reads eight hours. On this setting, the time will count up. After eight hours, the Instant Pot will beep again and read Y-O-G-T. Go ahead and remove the lid and see that pretty yogurt inside. You're going to notice some yellowish whey throughout your yogurt. This is good, but we do need to strain some of it off, so you have two options. The first is to place a colander on top of a large bowl and place a towel on top of that colander and scoop out your yogurt and it will strain through the towel and the colander into the bowl below. The second option is to use a nut milk bag. This is my preferred method. I am able to scoop out an entire gallon of yogurt into one nut milk bag. I will then suspend the nut milk bag from my cabinets with a large bowl below to catch all the dripping whey. That liquid gold is what you want to see dripping out from either your colander or your nut milk bag. For either option, you're going to want to leave the yogurt straining for at least 30 minutes and up to a couple hours. I prefer an hour. This whey is full of probiotics and you're going to want to keep it. So what I like to do is just save it in a mason jar and add it to our smoothies. Now we want to remove the yogurt from either the nut milk bag or our colander and place it in a large bowl. Now comes the fun part, flavorizing. Our family's favorite is orange vanilla honey. So I'm going to add one cup of orange juice, a quarter cup of honey, and two tablespoons of vanilla. Of course, you can get creative and use whatever you like and prefer. Grab your whisk once more and we're going to mix everything together. You'll notice that the yogurt might seem a little bit clumpy at first, but keep whisking, it will get smooth. Don't be alarmed because the yogurt is not that thick yet. We need to add it to the fridge for a few hours and preferably overnight. So go ahead and grab some mason jars or a bowl and you're going to add the yogurt to the refrigerator. Cover and refrigerate for a couple hours and preferably overnight. It's the next day and my yogurt has set beautifully and now it's time to make a little parfait. I love yogurt because it's so flexible for us to eat at any meal. It's a great snack for my kids. For the most part, we just keep it simple and I'll make a granola to go with our yogurt and we'll just add some fruit and a little bit of honey to sweeten it. There you have it, delicious, simple Instant Pot yogurt. I hope this video shows you how simple this was and how easy it can be for you to make this for you and your family. Please let me know if you give this a try. And remember to keep things simple because that is gourmet.